everybody come on in how are you today i hope everybody is okay i've remembered my tea today whether i remember to drink it is a different matter come and sit yourself down i brought an extra chair in just in case you brought a friend so we've got two chairs in my studio you can sit with um so what first thing i want to talk about today is Pen. People keep asking me. I get pe people commenting all the time. What pens have you used? What pens have you used? I do tell you what pens I've used, but I'm hoping that if you see them like this, you will remember. Okay. So, first of all, paint pens. There is my paint pen. This is the Dilutions Black Marble, and there's the white. This is the white linen. So I use these two paint pens, and I use these two paint pens. The Posca. It's um, the one mr. Uh, and that's in black and that's in white and the difference between these two is my paint pen has a much finer point than the Posca paint pen so if I'm wanting to do something quite intricate I use mine if I'm wanting to do something quick in a hurry I use this one I mean you I, I use a lot I use either a lot of the time but I won't use these when I'm using a drawing around a stencil because a stencil has got re is really sharp this plastic is really sharp and because my pipe pen is so much finer it will actually cut into the nib so when i'm drawing around a stencil i only use these so that's the paint pens that i use okay um, you've seen my pencils the poly uh, the um blackwing one ones that i use uh my pencil sharpener i just like these these polymer pentel ones my pencil uh, sorry my rubber or a razor, as the Americans like to say. The, the Americans will all have just giggled then because I said rubber. That's what we call them, the rubber. Um, so that's that. Pencil sharpener is the Blackwing uh, one that I use. And then for doodling, the pens that I use are these are the uni pins because these are the pens we get in our country, okay? So this is the uni pin fine liners. Um, this is number one, this is number five. I actually draw my stamps with this. I draw my stamps with number five and number seven. If I'm doing something large and then we're going to shrink it, I'll use the number seven so the lines stay the same. But if I'm doing it the same size, we're going to, we use the number five. And pens in your, your other countries, the Stateler pens would work um i'm trying to think of other names ranger letter it does a great set of three different sizes of pens which i quite often use so they're good as well okay so that is all the pens and pencils that i use yeah so you don't need to ask on the boards anymore so today is uh well to the page we're doing today is the 14th it's the 14th of April. We're nearly halfway through. Whoop, 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 whoop. We're nearly halfway through April. April normally lasts forever and this is doing, I think this is great. We're really um, doing well with this. I'm trying to think where I would be going. It's Tuesday. I would be flying to, oh, I was going to go to Dina's house on the Tuesday. Yesterday, was, yeah, I was going to Dina's house and we were going to film some videos because I'm, I would have been on my way to Los Gatos to Creative Escape uh, to teach there. So sadly, that will be later on in the year. People keep asking, people say, you know, tell me what's still on and what's not. I have no idea, okay? I have as much idea as you have. All we can say is for now, everything's cancelled. Um, you know, I don't know, but it might be right i i you know i have as much idea as the rest of you that of what's going to happen okay but that's where i should have been so here we are the 14th today and what i want to do today is i want to do a cut page okay um i just want to show you one here this is the one that's on the scrapbook.com video so you can see these pages are cut and doodled and then there's the back and we've got them doodled through. So this happens to be in a black, but it doesn't really matter. But when I was looking at this page earlier, there is actually black on the back. So that was quite that worked out quite well. Because whenever I do a cut page, an all over cut page, I um, work on both sides together. So on the back of this is what is going to be the front of the page. On the back of the page here, I always decorate decorate the back of the page before I cut out the front because it's really hard to decorate after okay so I'm going to use this is this is Martha's matte this stencil here 
um, that I'm going to use and I usually try and center it a bit not always doesn't always work but let's have a look you'll never get them right because I hand draw them so remember I said I use a Posca when I am outlining with a stencil so I am just going to go around could I draw this freehand of course I could I drew it freehand to start with but it's much quicker for me to use a stencil if you haven't got a black page, it doesn't matter. Just draw this with a black pen on the other. People seem to get really worked up that they haven't got the same pages as me. You won't have. Unless you were sat behind me doing exactly the same, your pages will be different. And so they should be. They should be different. So if you've just got a normal page, celebrate it. Get over it and get on with it. Okay, and if your page is on the other side, do tomorrow's page instead and come back. It doesn't matter. There's far bigger problems in the world at the moment than keeping up. It's the same with the people who say, oh gosh, I'm so far behind. It doesn't really matter. It's not a race. It's not a competition. But I will tell you, this week particularly, I am feeling so meh. It's unbelievable. And um, it's a big effort to come down to my studio and do this. And to be honest, I'm only doing it because I said I would. You know, the last few days, each day I've thought, I don't want to do this. But then I've got down here and I've started doing it and I felt better for doing it. So... You know, if, if you're feeling like that, just play, just do this, just get a stencil, just play in your book. You never know, you might be tempted to do a little bit more. Or you might just think, you know, oh, I'm done, I'm just going to sit. And that's all right as well. But it has made me, it has helped me a little bit. I think I feel as well that so that I've done something, you know, I get up in the morning and have my bath and whatever and then I... um do all my jobs, do my chores and sort all that out, do all my emails, everything like that. And then um, sometimes I'll do an hour of sewing in the garden beforehand and then I'll come down here and do uh, my video in, video in and then I feel I've, I've really accomplished something. So then I stay a bit longer, I do a bit more work and then I wander back up and I do something that I want to do. You know, so I feel, I feel better for doing it. So there we go. I've put the, the thing on back and I'm going to um, decorate it. So I think all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some lines across. I'm going down in a diagonal. I don't know why, but I appear to be going in a diagonal, which is amazing. I want to do every other one, so I don't know why I'm going in a diagonal. Let's try this one. to be working so I might as well stick to it and remember a lot of this page is going to be cut up so it won't really matter I like a little bit of order so you know a diagonal is um, working well for me and you can see how rubbish I am at doodling everybody thinks I'm really amazing at doodling and I'm not, I don't care. I just like to do it. And I think that's the difference. I have to remember my book's upside down. <laughs> Remind me, shout to me. Diane, your book's upside down. Otherwise, I might get some strange drawings in there. Okay, and then the other ones in between is I'm going to go this way so I've had half of them going vertical and then the other half are going horizontal and again I'm just being really really loose I hope you can see with my um 
hand above it. Sorry, I'm right-handed, so... I'm not sure if you can hear that. There's a lawnmower going. For those of you who've known me a long time, it's not Alan. <laughs> it's not Alan outside. It's one of the neighbours, but... Um, it's quite late at night, so... I'm surprised. Maybe they just got bored. Maybe they just thought, do you know what? I see Diane out there working. I'm going to go do some work. Do, 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 do. Nearly there. Okay. Uh, oh, is that it? I've done them all. I've usually missed one. There's usually one somewhere. No, done them all. Okay, and now, what? Oh, remember it's the right way up. What I'm going to do now, I'll switch to a smaller one, is I'm going to uh, put a little pattern in some of these. So in some of the, in some of them, this is how I work when I work a pattern. Just check my pen's working. Yeah. Um, maybe in here, I'll do a flower. Okay, so then maybe in this one over here, I'll do a flower. And then maybe in this one. So I do the same thing, but in different places. Okay, so there we go. So now maybe in this one, I'll do a heart. And then maybe in this one, I'll do a heart. And in this one, I'll do a heart. And in this one, I'll do a heart. And then I'll do a spiral. Okay, and over here I'll do a spiral. And that's how I work it. I don't really think much more than that. This is a just a half spiral. Um, what else could we do? Shout out if you think of something. We can do a different type of flower. How about this flower? Okay. And we can do a star. Don't worry if you can't draw stars. Some people are like, oh my no, this just asked me to do a star. I can't do a star. It's just a star didn't ask you to do a snowflake then that would have you running for the hills really um oh can't my brain's not working let's have this flower like this um let's put just a running stitch around the inside of that one, that one. Can you see how quickly your page fills up and you don't really have to think much about what you're doing? What else? Let's have um, some zigzags. Before you know it, lovely page is just almost done. So what have I got left? This one, this one. Um, oh no, I've already done that one. So this one here. So let's have some. Let's have small checks. You can be neat, you can spend all day doing this if you want, but I've got other ones to do. Okay, so there, before you know it, so that's your back of your page and it's already doodled and I could add, add extra things in there. I could go around, I could make, see like I could make these 
stand out more but I just don't know if they're going to be cut out or not so back to this page front page and I'm going to use this and the reason I'm using this is it's got this is the bit that's going to be cut out and it's got straight edges you know don't try and cut really complicated oh my gosh if I tried to cut all these circles out I would be there forever just don't do it to yourself so I'm using this one because there's lots of straight edges in there um so yeah so if I put it I don't want I don't want to be too near any edge because if you go oh I know I'll do mm. let me doodle first let me doodle these whoops because it'll be easier to do it now than it will be to do it later beep, 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 beep. have you got the hang, hang of rubbish doodling yet Yes, has it entered your world? Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's weird doodling without my headphones on. So, um, oh, that's a bit. There we go. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna go. Yeah. I think I'm gonna, because I've got, that'll leave me room at this end and it'll also re leave me room at this end and it'll also re leave me room top and bottom. On, okay. And I don't have to cut out every single one. So I'm just going round with my slightly bigger pen. You don't have to draw every square. I'm not going to cut every square out, you'll see in a minute. Oops. You see where there's two little ones? I'm just doing the one. There we go. Okay. So that's the pattern. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut most of these out, so that's not going to leave me a lot on the page. Um, and yesterday I was looking at putting a die cut on here. So I was looking at all the different die, I was looking at the people because I just wanted to put a person. And where's the one I was looking for? That one. I was looking for him today because... What I used to do with this is I used to, ooh, where have I put them? Here. I used to take the stickets. These are my post-it notes. Okay, like lots of, they're just sticky on one little bit and they're called stickets. And I used to have these coming out of the top of the head as a hat. So I'm just wondering. I'll put that one. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that down because I don't want it to flap up. So although it has got that little bit of sticky because it's like a post-it note, I'm just going to... glue that down and then I'm going to glue him down <laughs> there we go and if I wanted to let me see I'm not sure I could have a little bit on the top as a hat yeah, I might do that. I'll cut it and then I'll see. Oh, look at that. It's 
just get a lovely top hat. Do, 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 do. Marvellous, marvellous. Okay, so now I am going to... Do the cutting. So I'm going to get my cutting mat and I'm only going to cut out whole ones, okay? So mainly it's going to be these down here, it's not going to be these, it's just going to be these ones over here. I might cut the odd one out here but I doubt it, it's probably just going to be those. I'm going to stand up to cut, okay? So put your cutting mat underneath, get your knife, and this is how you cut. You always cut towards you, okay? So I would cut this one, this one. Can you see I'm going down? I'm just going inside the squares. So I'm just going down in a line to cut through. Missed the inner line there. Can you see you're doing the same action every time, so it's much easier. I'm cutting towards me, I've got a really sharp blade. I'm cutting a very simple shape. Okay, so when I've done that, I turn it and I come back the other way. See how much easier that is than turning the book every single time. Show you. Look, they pop out. If you don't like cutting, just just doodle, like I did on the back page. You don't have to cut things out. I love cutting out. I have books that are just full of doodling and cutting out. Usually black. There's something satisfying about using a white pen on a black book. But I've got all kinds of different books. I do it in, in loads of them. Right, let's get these out and then see what we're left with. I must have only done the across on these two. And then I think I'm going to cut here. I'm just going to cut a bit of it out. And the same for this one above. Sometimes I'll go in and I'll cut like little bits in between. Okay, there we go. That'll do. Put my knife away. Put my stencil away. And then these, if you look, on the back, these are ready decorated, so I could use them either way up. So they are going to go into the box with all the random stuff to be used at a later date. Okay, so on the back of the page, oops, let's 
just move that there. These just look like holes. So to me, if you, you need to outline them, you, you need to make them look as though, are we under the, yeah, as though they're meant to be there. So I'm just going to go along the edges of them because you don't just want random holes. It's like when we did the window. I'll go back down there in a minute. So I'm just making this, I'm just gonna outline around each of the squares that I cut out. We've had a really nice day here again in the UK. It's quite amazing. I hope it's not too bad where you are. I am very, very lucky that I have a garden. Um, I don't know what I'd do without the garden. It's so nice to sit outside. You sit outside, you're getting some vitamin D. You know, I, I have to admit it would be hard, a lot harder if I lived in an apartment and didn't have somewhere to sit. So today I am extremely thankful for gardens. So now I'm going across the top. Boo, 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 boo. Now do you see why I doodled first? Can you imagine trying to doodle around all these cutouts? One of the classes that I teach is this whole class of doodling and cutting out. I know I'm showing you all on here, but there is no substitute for doing a class where I've got you in person and I can frighten you to death into doing things. I'm a very strict teacher. People are always quite surprised really, but you know, as far as I'm concerned, you've paid a lot of money, get on with it. You, um, you could have sat at home and just fussed and faffed around, couldn't you? But you didn't. I'm nice as well. I'm not terrible, but I make you work. I do make you work. Okay, so here is my page. So what, I think I'll put the date up the top. Oh, that's, I might need to cut the end of that off. Oh, will I be able to peel it? No, I can't peel it. I need to just cut the end of that off because it's just going on to the next page and it's just gonna bend and it will drive me up the wall. There we go. Okay, let's outline it. When I do my diary, this is what I use as my to don't list. I don't do to do lists. I think they're the most demoralizing things on the planet. Um, because if you have a to do list, even if you do one or two of those things on the list, there's always still other things on there and it just makes you feel incompetent. That's how I feel, it makes me feel incompetent. So I have to don't lists and what I do is on these lists, I write down everything I've done that day and then I tick them all off and then I feel really, really accomplished. Okay, so yeah, if I put the date up there, the 14th, um, and then what am I gonna put in here? I know what I'm going to put. I'm just going to put same old, same old, same old, same old. So, same old, same don't have to have 
anything to say. You can just write blah, 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 de blah. Then we go same old, same old. Okay, so I'm just going to colour that in. I didn't bother doing it in pencil because they're only small words. It's only if they're long words or a long sentence that I would just like to check. Actually, I never do it. I never do it in pencil. I'm doing it to show you. I just write and if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. Um, but on the videos, I want you to be able to do it as well. So that's how I started doing it in pencil. I don't anymore. You can do art in your books as well some days, you know. I just want to put some art. I'm not bothered of whether it's a day or anything. You don't have to document. This is just your book that you're using through this pandemic. Nearly there. Same old, same old. And again, you might have these stamps. There's two little sets of stamps called Mini Moo and Mini Me. Actually, while I'm talking about stamps, somebody said yesterday, oh, I got some of these smaller stamps. I got them from a place called AliExpress. Can I just tell you that AliExpress has stolen all my designs? Those designs on there are all stolen. They've stolen all Dina's designs. They've stolen all Tim's. They've probably stole Vicky's and Heidi's and they stole Finnebear's. They've, they've stolen designs, okay? When you get them, they're a different size to ours. They're a totally, totally different quality. And some people say, well, you know, that's all I can afford. Stamps are not a, a matter of life or death, okay? If you buy them, you're supporting them stealing our products. Can you imagine how disheartening it is to wake up when you've spent hours design? I, I design all mine by hand. They take me forever. All these are drawn by hand. They take me weeks and weeks and weeks to do. And then you wake up one morning and AliExpress or Alibaba or I'm trying to think of the other ones, Wish are selling them for peanuts, you know, but it, you'll, if you get them, they're really, really rubbish quality as well. But please don't say, oh, well, it's all I can afford because it, it, it's theft. What they're doing is theft. If you didn't know, that's fine. No problem. It's a mistake. Please try not to make that mistake again. Um, you know, and if you want to buy them, then fine, but don't put them on my page. And to be quite honest, I don't really want to know you. If, you, if you're happy um, supporting people who are ripping off loads of the artists. So I wouldn't really want you on my page anyway. Okay, we have to stick. Yeah, integrity. Integrity is really, really important. Okay, so off my little soapbox there, I'm going to colour her in. I think I'm going to use um, the greens because I can see the green peeping through. So let's have, let's colour the little tunic. in green and then I think I'll have the spots on her leggings this was one of the very first stamps that I designed this bottom piece this was ruby rainbow and uh, we still sell as many ruby rainbows now as we did then. So this stamp is about, about eight years old, I think. Let's have a blue collar. And just as popular. There we go, and I think we'll have some blue leggings. I've got oh, something fell over somewhere there. There's nobody in here but me. I think my dad's popped back in. What are you doing, Dad? Tidying my cupboards.
Oh, sleeves. Blue sleeves. A little matchy matchy outfit here. This is a lockdown outfit. This is what you should be wearing in lockdown. Pajamas and Wellingtons. That's what every self-respecting delusionist should have on. And your lipstick, which is more than me. I love my makeup. I don't wear tons of it, but I do love it. But do you know what? I haven't um I haven't put any on at all. I've put them put um I've got dressed and I've put perfume on. Who am I putting perfume on for? But uh I just like I like to smell nice. But I don't need to look at myself, do I? So I've not bothered with the with that I do have a weird bun my hair is in a really weird bun like I would say 99% of women at the moment it's just this odd bun thrown up on the top of your head with sort of half a bobble and maybe a clip a clip or a pencil yeah can you identify with that and my hair's curly at the moment as well because I can't get to my hairdresser. She's probably crying. She thinks I'm going to shave it off. And if I didn't put it in this weird bun, I would shave it off. Right, up there. Only joking, Emma. Only joking. I'll leave it another week before I shave it off. So, it was the 14th. Let's... Oops. Let me put this... Put number four. Oh, you can hear the birds again now. The lawnmowers stopped. I might put a I might put a quote in there um but I've, obviously when I finish this page you'll be able to see through it and then you can see through it's a little bit like that let's look for a quote let's have a little bit of bigger back chat back chat um oh this is quite a good one isn't it for the lockdown if it requires getting out of bed I'm not doing it so you peel them off and what you do is you oops i'm going to put cut it into there so if it requires so sometimes i'll do different words sometimes i'll just cut different bits so like a long word if it requires and i always offset them because then you never have to get them straight so if it requires getting out of here we go bed remember some of these are on two Um, two, two or three different lines in here they're not all on the same for example doing it is the last bit there but I've still got people but people comes from the um, the quote before so that people needs to go back on so if it requires getting out of bed I'm not doing it and then I like to just outline round sometimes I'll go around the outside of it with a white pen but because I've got all that doodling on there I'm just going to use my black marble pen this could have been done in colours I see a lot of people doing colours I love black and white I have a thing about black and white so I just really 
I just really love it. I think it's it's great. Just be careful when you're turning this and folding this over because um, it's going to be fragile. So you could put some double-sided tape there. If you just keep lifting it, it's not going to be very happy and it will get quite, you know, it will get fragile. So how about well, this black this black and red one? Let's go for this one. We don't want this one that's too thick. So I'm going to go for this washi tape here. I'm just going to cut the end off because it's in my studio. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread it through there, press it down. And then I'm going to loop it, oops, oh, careful, careful Diane. Then I'm going to loop it over the top. And I'm just gonna make sure that the two, oh, oh, oh slightly wonky Diane, come on. There we go, put the two together and then I'm just going to cut that off. So now I have a little um, tab that I can open and close that with. Okay, and then they just stick out the side. And again, like I was saying the other day, they're not going to get, they're not going to matter in your dialogue. Um, I told you at the beginning of this series that I can't show you any examples because they're all in America because they were all going to go to create, uh, Creative Escape in Los Gatos because I was teaching a dialogue um, class there. We will be doing that. We'll be, we will be, all these classes that are postponed, we'll be doing them later on in the year. Don't worry about it. Um, but I've actually asked them. Some people are in at Ranger. There's not many in. But I've asked them if they will look out from, if they can find the box that has my... Um, dialogues in and if they can find them they're going to send them back over here they're going to put them on a, a delivery with ben and they're going to send them back over so that i can show you so don't hold your breath but um if they can find them they'll ship them back normally i, I carry things backwards and forwards i don't normally bother leaving things but i was coming home for i was coming home i think so i was going to be home for about three weeks <laughs> best laid plans and um, I actually was staying at my friend Jill's house in Florida and I had quite a lot of fabric at her house that I was bringing back. And so I thought to myself, do you know what? I'm just going to leave all this stuff because I'll only have to bring it back with me again in, um, in uh, when I go back. So I left it. I left it at Ranger and um, that'll teach me. Won't it? I'm just thinking. I think I want these eyes. I think I want him here to be a different colour. You see, I thought I was finished before that tab, and now I've started again. And this is what happens. People say, "When are you finished?" Oh, when I've finished. Sometimes I'll even come back a few months later and add something. It's like I've got to. Put, I need to add some doodling around some of these. So on some of these squares, I am actually just gonna doodle i wish i could just leave things alone like other people but i can't i can't i can't i can't help myself i just need to go back even some of those that i haven't cut out i feel happier there was nothing wrong with the way the page looked before but i just without my customary doodling on there I feel the page is naked, naked as the date was born. This one over here. There we go. Okay, so that was the 14th. 
um, you know, and you could have this as your 15th if you want a day off. It doesn't really matter. I'll see you tomorrow. If I come down tomorrow and go, I'm not feeling it and I'm just put a 15 on there. <laughs> and then there's the 16th. But I'm just going to have that day. The whole thing there is going to be the, the 14th. Mm -hmm.